Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we're gonna make a rug for a coworker of mine for her daughter. Her daughter's name is Athena. Her favorite movie is Lion King. Her favorite character is Simba. So let's do this. I started off by stretching my tufting material. Then I turned on my projector. Then I use a Sharpie to quickly outline the whole picture that's laid out with my projector. I wanna make sure that I uh, put every detail in there. That way I don't mess this up. And then if I want to, I can put notes like uh, if uh, that part of the image is yellow, then I'll put a Y. With that being said, I'm going to start off with black. I'm going to outline the whole outside of the, the rug first and some of the inside. I do go twice around the edges. That way, when you do the waterfall fold, it doesn't show the material, which either if you use a monk's cloth or you use tufting cloth or you use... Um, burlap that burlap won't show or whatever cloth you have so if you go twice or three times or four times around you're going to be solid and good did you know that lion king was supposed to be called king of the jungle So I'm gonna start doing my letters. Um, at first, when I was a beginner, I was having a hard time doing my letters without ripping my cloth. But as time goes on and you do letters after letters and rugs after rugs, you know, experience comes with it and you're not gonna do that ever again. So therefore, practice, 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 and you're gonna get really good. As you can see, I can start with the brown and I hit up his eyes, and then I hit up his ears. Right now I'm hitting up his tail. Then I'm gonna switch to her name and I'm gonna start hitting up the hitting it up with brown. In between the letters you Sometimes it's easy to rip, so you got to be careful when you go in between those letters that you don't overdo it. Especially in between the, in the inside of that A and in between the T and the A, as you can see. I did use uh, Athena in a Disney theme lettering. So it goes with the, the Lion King rug. This is a time lapse. In case you did not know, I did not tough this fast. I wish I did. Right now you can see I'm in between his legs. Also being very careful that I do not overdo it so I won't rip the cloth. And now I'm hitting up his toes. I'm hitting it up with the tan and his little chin and his face. The bottom of his stomach as well with tan. I'm going to begin with the yellow in his eyes. I'm using gold and I start with the head and I, and I go down. As you're doing this, you want to double check that you're checking your picture that you uh, use to, to lay the picture on the projector with. Make sure you're not messing up the color, so refer back to the color.
I do recycle I do recycle the yarn that way I can use it on later on projects. So right now I'm using the glue. I use Robert 6700. You can get it at Home Depot and the spatula anywhere that sells paint. This is the next day. You can see me cutting down the rug. And now you see me cutting every, now you see me cut every inch of the rug and you see me waterfall it to the rug so I can put my backing on later. And I'm gonna do this all the way around the rug. Difficult sometimes, like his, his tail might be a little bit dif difficult. Now I use a adhesive spray. This adhesive spray you can buy at Walmart, seven, eight dollars at Walmart or if you want to buy it on Amazon that's fine. Now I lay down the rug and with the marker I go all the way around the rug for the outline then I use scissors just to cut out the outline and then I use the same adhesive spray to uh, put the glue on the back and I glue the backing with the back of the rug and that's pretty much it and here is the final piece Thank you guys for watching, honestly.